I forever tell people that I'm still very young, guys. I'm still very young. Uh, it's unfortunate that I, well, fortunately, that I became known at a very young age. So you're growing up with cameras on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you understand yeah, yeah. what I mean. I am going to make a lot of mistakes, 100%. I am going to trend on something that I am not, You know, like, I'm going to, something is going to happen eventually. Mm -hmm. But I just want people to understand that I'm still a baby. Yeah, and I yeah. still have a lot of things to learn. That's why you can never see me like interacting into controversial situations whatsoever. That's why I'm never even engaging on Twitter. Yeah. Twitter, yeah. I just post my pictures and I just buy. Yeah. 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 Just Twitter. Yeah. I'll just post pictures and just buy comments and whatever. I wouldn't even reply, uh, because yo that place mm, it has broken a lot of people. It has, yeah. So I I I am scared hundred percent. There's that fear, but I just want people to understand that I'm still very young. I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes. That things that I don't know. That topics that I can in. That's why that topics that I can engage in yeah, because yeah. I don't know what's the right thing to say. Yeah, you understand yeah, what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there are aspects of my life um, that I will never reveal um, that are between myself, my family, on the third day, uh, day uh, my <laughs> that's that one, yeah, like Christ himself. What was that about? I don't even and know. I don't know. And went to a fancy know. restaurant um, um, in a beautiful place in South Africa, and he Maustel, left you with love them. seven love them. Rand. Babe. Not He's not circumcised. <laughs> more and all of them. But, I mean, I heard the. The audible voice. Tabula was holding it. I'm not going to say it. I already do it. Will it marry what you say you're doing? Which. I mean, I'm going to say it. We show you. Per. As we should. Ne? As we should. You had to raise the standard. I mean, what can I say? Ne? Yeah. Welcome to Engineer Your Life. Thank you so much. You for are extremely me. beautiful. Thank you so much. I, you, you, I, I was just telling um my, my team behind the scenes that um I remember you were calling me saying you were panicking, which is lovely by the way that you were communicating every step of the way. Mm. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It shows your professionalism. Hundred percent. So by communicating, you're showing us that you value what we do as well. Yeah. And you value yourself because you're saying I'm busy with makeup. I'm busy with clothes. Yes. Um. And we see why. Yes. <laughs> you have to. You understand? <laughs> you know? You have yeah. to. Yes. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Um, yeah. Where, where's home? Um, originally from Pretoria, mm -hmm. Soshanguve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's home. Practi practically home. The, the, the reason I ask is because it's very, okay, not very unconventional, but it's still mm. a bit taboo for a person from Soshanguve, which is a township. Yeah. Um, for those who are not from South Africa and are watching, it's a township. So it's not particularly uh, an affluent place. It's yeah. not a place where people have a lot of access, but it's people who are, are trying and, and hustling. Yes. And it's not very common for people to confidently present as you present. Yeah, yeah. You know, so where does the bravery and the boldness come from to present in the manner that you present coming from Sosha? Um, I forever tell people that I grew up in a household or home where i was like allowed to do everything and anything mm -hmm. um my family just my family is just like a very like fresh you know breeze of air and growing up i was never limited to actually do something or say something even career choices growing up people have to play with type of groups i engaged in they never really you know yeah, they they never get hit of anything. So I think it comes from my family background, I can say, family first, yeah. and also the kind of friends I met throughout. I think so, yeah. Uh, I, I, I was going to go there with friends and society because it's one thing to have a family that is healthy, a family that is understanding, mm -hmm. a family that even goes beyond just being understanding, but goes the extra mile and tries to learn who you are 100%. and know what goes through you and what led to you um, presenting the way that you present. But how was society treating you? I mean, uh, 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 you may be bold like this, but yeah. Kachiso, I, I strongly believe that there's a lot of work you had to do personally mm -hmm. to be bold. Um, because society is not kind. At all. You know? At all. Um, whew. How do I answer this one? So, um, I think I didn't get a lot of... Um, 
homophobic attacks or I didn't get a lot of like questions moving around growing up because I was a very masculine presenting boy. Okay. Yeah. So, so I growing up you were masculine. Yeah, presenting. I was like um, yeah, even though you can tell her um, some things, you know what I mean? But it was never that hectic. So yeah. um yeah, I just I just I think that's the reason why I never really had a problem because I actually started being very flamboyant um when I came to Joburg. Okay. So yeah, I think And when and when was this? Twenty twenty twenty. 2020? Yes. So, 2020. he in challenge. <laughs> very new. Very, very oh, new. It's something that is exciting. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's very exciting. I don't lie. It's very exciting. Yeah. Is, it, is it exciting because this is, whole, this is who you've always been and mm -hmm. whole, how you've always wanted to express yourself? Mm -hmm. Or, because, don't get me wrong, there are a lot of people who perceive presenting in a manner, in a feminine manner mm -hmm. as a person who was born a man, yeah. um, born uh, being prescribed as a man, um, as a stage. Yeah. Uh, do you think there is any truth to it being a stage, or you genuinely are excited and you're living your truth and you can feel it? No, man. That's that's why my heart mm. is at peace. I am living the truth, to be quite honest. Yeah. And I forever tell people that uh, when you come out, you're still gonna come out and come out again and come out again because you learn a lot of things about yourself you see a lot of things and you try to amplify some things so um i i never really thought that i'd actually wear makeup someday or wear a skirt or whatsoever i was never really interested into those things uh but um i i started reading a lot i started understanding a lot of things um therapy as well helped me so that's when i actually figured no man this is the city look that i want to go for or mm -hmm. this is what i think i'll fully look comfortable in yeah yeah a bit deep has mm -hmm. fame changed you no i don't think so 100 percent not you who you are i am 100 percent who you 100 percent you still speak relate to people in the manner that you used to relate to them two years ago 100 percent I, I think i relate to them better now even. better now yeah since i'm more confident yeah yeah because I, I um i was very enclosed to be quite honest um especially when i moved to Joburg. um i was very reserved because you know the how people perceive job yeah you're gonna be in danger yeah. friends whatsoever um i had a lot of anxiety as well um but then i think fame actually made me a better person to be quite honest yeah um i i uh, i i recently interacted with a conversation that had um black coffee in it and he mentioned that he has a difficult time um separating nati and 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 black coffee mm. Do you do you, do you do you have that issue as well where you feel like you're putting on a character when you have to be kahiso mm -hmm. on weekends versus the kahiso who can sit at home in pajamas and shorts? Um, I'm the same kahiso throughout. Ne? I'm the same kahiso throughout. But Katazi man, you you full of life. Like that's who I am, <laughs> and that's what I am. Like I'm the I'm the same yes. same 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 kahiso throughout. Like even because even for example when I'm out like. Sometimes people don't understand or how am I like why why are they just dancing around? Why it's because we are out and mm -hmm. I believe you know what I mean. So I'm still the same man. I'm I, I, Kakiso is Kakiso at home, Kakiso is Kakiso here on the podcast, at the street, at the club. I'm the same person. But aren't you scared that the authenticity of who you are? We we all have private lives mm -hmm. and our private lives we share special things with certain people in our lives. Aren't you scared that you're living out your private life on the internet? You have a, you're on a reality show. Mm -hmm. You dance beautifully for us on TikTok. Mm -hmm. You dance on stages. You DJ. Mm -hmm. You're studying. Yeah. And all of this, you're doing it you, on digital media. Mm -hmm. Sometimes even on traditional media, you get platforms where you, you, you show us your talents. Mm -hmm. And a huge part of your brand has been reality. Mm -hmm. And as you're saying, your reality is married mm -hmm. to the brand. Yeah. Uh, isn't that aren't you scared of losing who you are in that process i am very much um careful with what i put out on the internet okay. um you see everything but i show you what i want you to see okay you understand because um what i've learned is that people will use something that you brought out yourself against you. you 
You understand I what I mean? I so I am, as much as you guys see what I want you guys to see, but as Kahiso myself, I also have a private life. Yeah. I'm still the same Kahiso years throughout, but I have certain things that I don't show in the media. And is there, is there, do you have an example? Maybe it was a learning moment where there's something you felt like you slightly overshared mm -hmm. and then people used it against you. Um, on the reality show, I brought out my dad's situation. Okay. And uh, maybe explain it because different viewers. Oh, okay. So um, I, 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 I have a, I'd say a financial relationship with my dad okay. in a way. Um, him and I are not that close. Um, it's not because of my sexual orientation, uh, but it just happened that, I don't know, he's, you know how dads are, these 2K dads. But it's, that's... He was never present. Hmm? He was never present? No, he was fully present, but he was never emotionally present. I, I hear you. You understand? Yeah. Because I believe as a... So he just sends the maintenance. Yeah, he just sent, like, yeah, yeah. now send a text, I need 2K. He'll just send it and not say anything. Okay, so yeah. I will. No. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not obviously. Sometimes he'll just mise and not say anything, yeah. right? And I brought that I brought that out on the show that I have a very financial relationship with my dad and him and I are not that close. Um, and then someone, um, I was out, I don't know, it was... It was just like an in in um, interaction and he was like, yeah, that's why your dad left you. Hectic. Yeah. That's but, why, you understand what I mean? Like, yeah, that's what, yeah, somebody that's, went mm. and took something intimate and private. You know what I mean? And, and used it against you. Mm. I, I, I hear you. So uh, after that moment, you're like, mm -mm, I'm not sharing private things. No, I was like, ah, yeah, we move. Yeah. I mean, you know what I mean? But get cut out, like, okay, so to be, we move all the time. Let's it's, be it's honest. Tiring. It's, it's tiring. tiring. It's we, tiring. It's tiring. We're human. We have emotions to be constantly badgered. Mm. I, I always make this example, right? Mm. Um, one, I struggle with comments. In, in on my social media mm -hmm. i do reply because i believe that the majority of people have genuine hearts yeah and they comment because they want to interact with what you put out and they're supporting your work mm -hmm. right um also when we do work that's paid and mm -hmm. we want them to comment and so we business. can't only interact pe with people just because we want money mm -hmm. we need to be genuine mm -hmm. but i always put it like this let's say you're on you've exceeded hundred thousand followers on instagram how mm -hmm. many on tiktok like to something 200,000 200, something, something yeah. so you're approaching half a million people mm -hmm. that follow you mm -hmm. soon you'll have half a million people mm -hmm. that follows you mm -hmm. i always make this example half a million just give me 100 people if they were to walk into this room right now at the same time and try and talk would you tolerate that would you cope no. if you had 100 people around you talking to you at the same no. time so i look at social media like that is that just because it's on a screen mm -hmm. Um, we get overwhelmed without realizing it, mm. you know? Yeah. And that's why I'm asking you, doesn't it get tiring? It gets tiring. To be quite honest, I don't want to lie, it gets tiring. And um, unfortunately, we, 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 we have um, contracts that bind us. We have this, we have that, because sometimes something does not allow you to act a certain way. Mm -hmm. Not even like that. Uh, but because of how I was, you know, like how I grew up, um, what I was taught at home and what I actually, <laughs> am. Yeah. I'm not, I can't really do that. Do you yes, understand? Yes, yes. But, um, reply here and there, hundred yeah. percent. And I forever tell people, you can say whatever you want on the screen, face to face, you wouldn't. Yeah. I dare you to. Yeah. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. You wouldn't. Yeah. Um, but then uh, those days when it does get overwhelming, sometimes, you know, the funny thing is you can read 99 beautiful comments mm. and for some weird reason, it's 9 a.m. in the mm. morning on a Tuesday and you innocently having a, a, an okay day, mm. nothing, nothing out of the ordinary, your schedule is as normal and you log on mm. and then somebody comes and says, why is your eye skewed mm. and that red nose mm. when and do 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 and swears mm, 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 mm. and it, it pierces differently how yeah. do you deal with those type of comments when you're alone yeah i think i've <laughs> you know i kids will like ask if like i don't know like you think is you okay yeah i guess i guess i would have a with like i'm at a like i could I, I, I with hook i get you why even my friends that's why I'd fight for my friends, but I wouldn't fight for myself. Because, I mean, you're going to say this one thing. Yeah. And it gets to me, 100%, it gets to me. Uh, but I have a certain way of, like, just dealing with things. I brush a lot of things 
to because I, br- I, don't, I know mm-hmm. it's not healthy. I brush a lot of things, but I know if I decide to retaliate, then it will be extreme. It, it will be very extreme. Yeah. That's why I mise a lot of things. I mise a lot of things. Well, aren't you scared? It's not you, healthy. Aren't you scared? You, you, you're taking this jar mm. and it's becoming bigger and bigger mm. and bigger mm. and you're putting things in and mm. shoving them in and one day is going to have an internet meltdown mm. um that's why i go to therapy okay yeah okay. That so there is me. an outlet yes there yes. is there is but to be quite honest i just a lot of things i just let them slide yeah yeah but face to face you wouldn't do anything <laughs> to me 100 percent and 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 what is the value of therapy to you yeah, it has helped me a lot. It has helped me a lot. Um, yeah, I value therapy and I, I forever recommend therapy, especially when my when my parents actually started having their own fights and whatsoever. Um, I started therapy, I think it was like grade, what's grade nine? Yeah. So it has, it has helped me a lot into a lot of things. Um, I can't really think of some of the situations or instances, but it's it's I I I, I recommend therapy. I do. There has to be one, Kaki, so I, because I want I want a person who's never gone to therapy for the first time mm-hmm. because the the you're here, which means your 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 stands, mm-hmm. your your peoples, the people mm-hmm. who love you and believe in you. Mm-hmm are going to watch this because yeah. they want to know Kakis on a different light. Yeah. Maybe um, because of this type of platform and the way it is, they're going to see an intimate side of who you are. Yeah. Maybe with other platforms, it's a lot of, it, it, it's a character. Yeah. Not that you're putting on a character, but yeah. you get what I mean. Yeah, I is it. that what they're going to see here, it's not curated. Yeah. And I want them to know that at least if somebody takes out how to deal with mental health issues, yeah. um, this is the example that Kakis made that said, for example, I went through this and my therapy helped me. I know some therapists will say, Nay coloring book. <laughs> I don't know why you guys make us color in in therapy. But what did uh, what did you go through if you can share something? And what did the therapist make you do to reach a better space in that? I uh, my therapist taught me a, um um what's this a trick or a, like how I deal with things. I would for example, if someone said something to me or like a lot like something happened, I'd write it down crying. Like I'd like I have to write it down crying. During the moment of the During the, crying, the moment, yeah. letting it out. Tear the paper and just throw in the bin. What does that do for you? It it makes everything much better. <laughs> like I know it's it's very taboo, it's very mm, you understand, but try it out. Yeah. Yeah. Or just burn it. Does it feel like you you, you took the problem, you release, mm-hmm. um, you 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 wrote about it, which means you expressed it, mm. and then it's still safe with you because it remains private because now you discarding it. Yes. And and it just goes away. Yeah. It feels it's 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 it's, it's uh, it it helps me a lot. It it helps me a lot. Just rock myself in the room, write down whatever that they said to me, a lot of things whatsoever. Uh, but they have to pile, like that's why I understand what you're saying. They pile up, and when I break down, mm-hmm. that's when I actually scribble things, take the paper, throw in the bin, or just burn it. I used to have like a a small lanyana bin where I'd fill everything up, and when it's full, I'll burn it up. Yeah. And I'll just feel much better. I, I get that. Yeah. I get that. I want to move yeah. on to your career now, yeah. which is probably something that people know you know you from and yeah. what has brought you this beautiful life you're living. Um, do you enjoy being famous? Am I famous? Do you enjoy being famous? <laughs> <laughs> um, it has its ups and downs. It pays the bills. Okay. So yeah, I do enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. I do enjoy yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and with with fame comes scrutiny. Mm. I want to walk you through this. Um, with fame comes scrutiny. And your fame has been attached to a group mm. setting. Which is something that a lot of people, be it musicians, artists of different, of different kinds, mm. even just as humans, mm. we struggle with maintaining relationships mm. and group settings, right? Your fame has come in a group setting. Do you not have a fear that... I should work so hard that should the group disband, mm. Kakiso remains. 100%. That's why um, as much as we don't really like the word group, uh, but we are a group, but we believe we are friends. You understand what I mean? Yes, we've built um, this amazing project or this amazing work, 
uh, but we believe we are friends. And each and every individual has a brand on their own. Okay. You understand? And that's clear. That's clear. Yes. That's clear. That's why I am doing my own thing. Kam is doing his own thing. Randy's doing his own thing. Um, if you can check it out, yes, we are a group of friends, but we are very, you know, everyone has what they are doing. And if, uh, would you say that's the working formula that many people have gotten wrong, is that you guys exist as individuals, mm-hmm. but still in a group. 100%. And not all your eggs in the basket mm-hmm. of the group. Yes. Mm. Yes. Kamu has his own thing. Rindy has his own thing. I have my own thing. I'm pushing my own things. They're pushing their own things. 100%. When we come together, we come together with this specific project. I hear you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, but, so you've done that. Uh, I want to go back to the fear element. So there's no fear. Because you're saying you guys have carved it in such a good way mm. that group or no group, friendship yeah. or no friendship, Kakiso remains. Kakiso <laughs> remains. 100%. Kakiso yeah. remains. And has the friendship ever been threatened? And, yo, every, almost every week. Really? Almost every... My friends and I fight almost every single week. Yeah. Like, si blokana ni wenji. But it's, it's, it's how we curated the friendship and how we... Because as much as we fight, you'd never see it on the net. Yeah. Yeah, we fight about deep things, like deep stuff, like shout at each other, swear at each other. Mm-hmm. But because we believe in our friendship more... You wouldn't see any of more that. than the squabble. Yes, yeah. a lot of people said a lot of things. Yeah, for example, why is Kahiso always in the center? Is he the Beyonce of the group? Like people don't really, like people don't really think about what they say. Yeah. And, and some it's of the, it's yeah. Some of the comments, you'd be like, yeah, people would laugh about it, but then when we look, like when we look at the comments, really group. Sometimes it just because sometimes you, you think about it like. Mm, Maravilla, why are you always you understand? Why are you always in the middle? You, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's it's smallest things. People say things, yes, and they affect us big time, but how we deal with them, love it. Who has internalized the this whole thing of the destiny's child comparison now that you've gone there? Who do you think internalized it the most? And are you guys the other two helping that person to realize that? That shouldn't be happening. Mm. And when I say internalized, I mean who the somebody believes they're the Beyonce or has been perceived from the outside that they're the Beyonce. Somebody has been perceived to be the Kelly Rowland. Somebody mm. has been perceived to be the Michelle. Mm. Who either the Beyonce, Kelly Rowland, or Michelle, who, whoever has that character, has internalized that, and you you come together and say, "Hey, when snap out of this, we we're one." Um, the audience is what brought it up. To be quite honest. Yeah. And like I said, when we started, we started as a group of friends. And when we started, we just did everything without actually having any knowledge or any idea of what we're doing. Yeah. Right. And we didn't really think of it as a, hey, there's a queen whatsoever. There's that, there's this, there's that. No, I don't think from our group, from my, from my own opinion, I don't think, cause I know my friends, no one like, no, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm. No, <laughs> no, no one feels no, that way. No, but surely, as you said, that there are instances where you guys look at the comments and you're like, "Hi, guys, let my comments," mm. and you take a, you make a phone call and you want to reflect, mm. right? Who has? I'm trying to get it. Who has the comment hurt the most? And they've really said, "Guys, nakutiwa." Um. It's not, it's not basically the Michelle, the, 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 the Beyonce part, but it's, for example, me, when I got into the media scene, okay. um, Kamu already had a name. Okay. Randy already had a name. Okay. And I was just a boy from Sushan Guvi. Yes. Didn't even know. We just became friends. And because I came in later on into you. the friendship, yes. even though we started together, but I Basically started... You came online later yeah, on. Yeah, online later on. Yes. It became, but yeah, no, you're the Michelle of the group. Yeah, I'm going to Michelle, wara, wara, wara. Not them, but the audience. Yes. So, my friends would come like, nah, just don't, my is it, and whatever. But I, when I'm on my own and yeah. just thinking about it, yeah. I'm like, hmm, actually, why? Yeah. You yeah, know what I yeah, mean? Why? Yeah, yeah. But I've, 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 I
have a, you know. Also, I mean? if you're a Michelle, do they know how rich Michelle is? Uh, you know what I mean. You understand what I mean. You understand like, what I mean. Ukuluma, exactly. And then is yeah. and on, then, a, on a mobile cell. And then Utu Ukakiso is Michelle and Ukakiso is banking it. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you understand. Yeah. So I don't have there. Yeah. 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 Um. And who would you say you closest to between the two? Naturally, in friendships, there's somebody you closer um, to than the other. Randy. Ne? Mm. Yeah. I'm very close to Randy. Um. Gum and I are close, very close, but I think because Randy and I are from the same hometown and we share like the same things, same instances, we went probably to the like more or less same schools, I like, you understand what I mean? So same we, back, similar yeah, background. similar background. So yeah. I relate more to him than Gamo. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, 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 it's organic. It's like that. I hear you. Yes. I we hear are friends, you. love them. Yeah. But you understand what I mean? Both from Pretoria. Uh, yeah, so that instantly makes us very close. Who's the one person you've met because of your work and you were like, thank the heavens that I'm in this career because I've just met my idol? Really? Yeah. Um, oof. Growing up, I wanted to be a fashion designer. Okay. And I've, yo, I've liked rappelling since probably grade eight or something like that. And I never really thought in my whole entire existence that I would be actually working with him, calling him my mentor, being very close to him. So he's one person that um, I really look up to and I'm very close to, yes, but he's just, I, it till today yeah yeah i'm very close to him but i'm just like thank god i met this gent yeah, yeah. i 100 percent don't think i would be sitting with you today if i didn't meet that man and 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 that has that closeness obviously changed your life is what you said it, it has yeah. big time yeah like, like what type of contribution has he made um for example he's he's the f- um founder and producer for birth of stars okay my name went up high after Birth of Stars. True. I had a name, yes, yes. but it just took it to another level. Yes. So I don't think anyone sitting at home would just decide to, you know what, let me just start a project with these small three boys and see I, how it I goes. I get you. I you get, you. I I get you. And fund so, it yeah. then. And fund it and put your Tires hard work me, yes. and tears and whatsoever with zero sponsors, nothing. Yeah, yeah, 100%, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm sure a lot of people, a lot of chances now want to take his bread away mm. from you guys because now that I, I don't want to use the word made, mm. but he's invested yeah. in your brands, mm. be it individually or the birth of stars. Yeah. Other people, be it producers, people on the side, mm. are like, no, what's a tea now? Mm. We'll give you a bigger deal. Mm. Mm. We'll take you to television. Mm. We will take you to this. Mm. Um, is it happening? It is. Yeah. It is happening. And People also have their own opinions. Whatever, yes, he's my boss. Hundred mm. percent. And um the day he decides to cut ties with me, that's when him and I will lose our things. But as for now, I'm sticking with that man. Yeah. 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 Even if I got a S A B C if I got a S A B C one metro, I will be Kahiso under OM communications. Because you understand the value I that it has, brought, it, it has brought. And it's still bringing. Yeah. And, yeah. You, and you don't feel like you've outgrown it yet. We are in a business together, but um, we are family before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think, yeah, that, I think yeah. that's, yeah, that's what actually brings us closer. And yeah, it doesn't feel like work. It doesn't feel like, you know what I mean? It, it's so clean. It's so organic. And ah, oh, bless that guy. <laughs> yeah. How much does Kakiso charge for a reel? You. <laughs> you. <laughs> you. Yeah, so just you, swung that in there. You. <laughs> a few thousand. A few thousand? Yeah, a few thousand. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it, it, it does take a few thousand to get it to that quality that, yes. that you believe in. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Do you feel like the, in, you, 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 the, in, the way that you're charging is fair for the amount of work you put in? I'm not saying... I don't want you, uh, I'm not bashing brands, mm-hmm. but I'm just saying, do you think the industry is paying you guys enough for what you're doing? I'm saying this because when you hear of UK, USA um, influencers, mm-hmm. if, if you prefer to be, to be called that word in your profession, mm-hmm. the amount of money they're making, I don't think South Africans are even coming mm-hmm. close. Yeah. Do you feel there's room to be charging more? 
there is room to be charging more 100 percent but i feel uh i think because the influ the influence marketing in south africa is still very fresh mm. it's still very fresh we still have a long way to go as well uh because for example people don't realize that influencing is actually work yeah like it's actual work it pays the bills yeah you understand so we're still on that chat so i believe we can you know <laughs> increasing yana ratings here and there but we still have a long to go, long way to go so for now the price is clean yeah it makes sense yeah for it where pays we for are. things you, yeah you need. for where we are it yeah. makes sense yeah it makes sense Mara, today's date is not tomorrow T1, oh that? no no today's price is not yeah you know no, that that no, thing yeah, Sazo, no. new, Sazo. every month my <laughs> rate increases 100%. My every month it increases yeah um <laughs> That's funny. Um, do do you do you yearn to have a relationship with your father? No, a, a, an emotional one. No, no. But do you not feel that's unhealthy mm. to not have one or other people in your life sufficient? No, no. Um, the people that I have now, yeah, the family that I have now has closed the gap of me not actually having an emotional relationship with my dad. Did you have a moment where you did though? Wish? I hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. I wish I had a closer relationship with my dad growing up. Yeah, I feel like I've I would have learned a lot of things. Mm. Like I would have, yeah, I would have learned a lot of things. I would have gotten a lot of things as well. Um, I think emotionally as well, I would have been, uh, uh you know, like a better person. But yeah. it's, it's unfortunate that him and I are not close. So. No. Do, do, do you think people who grow up without fathers being emotionally attached to them have a backlog emotionally that they have to deal with? 100%. Yeah. 100% they do, especially if you don't have uh, uh, a male guardian as well. It makes everything worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think every child deserves to have a, a relationship with, a loving and a great relationship with, their, with both of their parents. Yeah. Ooh, interesting and do you do you have that with your mom though maybe let's speak about something more alive yeah, no, and, and, and beautiful i do yeah what, what does your mom mean to you i mean when you hear your mom's name Ugh. when you see a text from your mom what uh, happens inside of you i just get i just i'm I, I love that woman yeah i love that woman. yeah that woman built me yeah yeah my family like my 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 um my female my my what's this word not female um the woman in my life yes actually from my sister to my granny to my aunt to my mom yeah the uh, like i just i'm i believe i'm doing whatever that i'm doing today because of them and yeah. for them as well yeah yeah, yeah. it's just uh wow well, unexplainable unexplainable yeah, yeah. yeah. unexplainable and and w w what do you want to do for your mom like what what are, what is still in your heart that you want to do for her you know that woman has gotten a lot of things into her life but I just think getting her a new house. No. Yeah. It's gonna come. Hundred percent. It's it's like and yeah, it'll be that it's that amazing really, one. Very soon. Ne? Very soon. Get her a new house and yeah. Le yeah. Le yeah. With understand. the number with staircase. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. New fresh because um I mean it's she, she they just my 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 parents just um divorced recently so she's still in that old house yes but. I want better for her. I want yeah. like a proper, proper fresh start. I think it will create a crazy impact into her life. Yeah. It, it, it's funny how you're close to your mom. Mm -hmm. You were never emotionally close to your dad, but your parents just divorced. So are you saying that it's possible for a married couple to not have to not be pr both present to their child or to their children? Mm -hmm. Like people are married, mm -hmm. but there's only one parent who's present. Yes very possible yeah. that's what i experienced my yeah. parents were married but my mom was the only one who was emotionally available hectic yeah hectic it's because very, for the longest yeah. time people are taught that they should be married to that so that they build families that are healthy mm. and mm. and sustainable mm. no i i i i am one of those i'm like oh, in the statistics yeah i i had a very clean like I, I grew up very clean, very beautiful, whatsoever. But then I realized at a certain certain age that my dad was never really emotionally available. Because when you grow up, you get whatever you want. You see a toy there. Dad is like, yeah, take it. You see this, yeah, this is a school trip, yeah. 
school fees pay lunchbox everything but then you grow up and realize that actually emotionally man this man nah he did nothing for me yeah yeah, yeah 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 how do you how do you respond to the fact that you've become famous um also putting you on the line of being cancelled are, are you worried about being cancelled because there, there are certain things that we may believe in privately and we if we were to take online um it it it, 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 it would harm the bread mm-hmm. are you ever scared of doing something that um, would get you cancelled i forever tell people that i'm still very young guys I'm still very young. Uh, it's unfortunate that I, well, fortunately, that I became known at a very young age. So you're growing up with cameras on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you understand yeah, yeah. what I mean. I am going to make a lot of mistakes, 100%. I am going to trend on something that I am not, You know, like, I'm going to, something is going to happen eventually. Mm. But I just want people to understand that I'm still a baby. Yeah, and yeah. I still have a lot of things to learn that's why you can never see me like interacting into controversial situations whatsoever that's why i'm never even engaging on twitter yes twitter yes. i just post my pictures and i just like yeah yeah, yeah. just twitter. yeah i'll just post pictures and just like comments and whatever i wouldn't even reply uh because yo that place mm, it has broken a lot of people it has yeah so I, I i am scared 100 percent. there's that fear but i just want people to understand that i'm still very young I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes. That things that I don't know. That topics that I can. In- that's why that topics that I can engage in yeah, because yeah. I don't know what's the right thing to say. Yeah, you understand yeah, what I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you feel? Do you feel like um, a lot of how your brand has grown as a trio mm-hmm. and also as your personal brand has threatened a lot of other older queer people who are in the industry? Hundred percent. Hundred um, percent, it has, uh, because um, people want bread for themselves. Okay, people would get keep a lot of things for themselves, and especially with more like you know more queer people are older than us. Um, because I mean every day there's a new face, so even us sometimes we are threatened about the younger ones that are coming. You understand Fair. what I mean? Yeah. But I think it's how we act around the situation. And how we, you know, mold the younger ones, you understand? Because, I mean, there's no reason in having jealousy or yeah. saying nasty comments or saying this or saying that. That does not really break anything, to be quite honest. Being positive does not break anything. So there is, yeah, threats. You can, even though they wouldn't tell you, but you can see. The fact that two years back when you walked in the room, you were the star. Yeah. And then... Two years later, Kakusa walks in and he's the one that's being cheered for. I get Obviously, that. there's, you understand, but it's how you actually act around it. There's jealousy, a lot of it, 100%. But what can you say? Ha- have you ever been in a space and a person, as I'm saying, an older queer person, mm. treated you so badly and you're like, but I didn't do anything wrong? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can you make an example of what happened on that day? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> next question please I don't know no names that. just what happened no it's not worth my time <laughs> yeah it's not uh, worth my time 100 it's it it was very it was very disgusting mm-hmm. and i told the person 100 percent. i'm like listen i'm not gonna tolerate this kind of nonsense and if you do it again believe you me Believe you me. I don't know what's going to happen, but believe you me. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of times. A lot of times. A lot of times. What I'm getting from you is that the the over 30s are not impressed that you guys are around. They're not impressed mm-hmm. at all. They, they, I'm sure they wait. They like, it's crazy. And also, it's crazy. When you look at the nasty comments that we get, is mostly older people. Is it? Yeah. On TikTok, for sure. Everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. yeah. It's mostly older people. And you like, people my age are very much happy. They like jollying, positive comments here and there. But you guys, older guys, you are like the ones. For example, there was a tweet this other time. And people who interacted with it, it was like the old queers. 
Yeah. Yeah. And you're like, what was the tweet? Um, what was it actually? Oh, someone said, um, I believe in Kamu Kahiso and Randy's supremacy. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They are the yeah. next big thing. Yeah. Uh huh. But the the older ones give them two years. I don't know, give them six months. Wara, wara, wara. Yeah, they'll break up soon. Yeah, yeah. Those kids, they bringing wara, wara. Ugh, I'm like, oh, but they're not giving. Like, all, come all it is, on, is, you know, yeah, mm, man, kilo mangte. Like, we da lang hona mo. You understand? <laughs> so it's mostly like it's 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 funny. It's mostly old people. Yeah, yeah. Mostly, and 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 the younger people are receiving you. They loving you. They support there is you. obviously there are like comments here and there from younger people, but shame, Nina. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey. JK, JK, I'm joking. I'm joking. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, um, Peter Stars is coming back. Hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. Mirate, mm-hmm. fresh new content. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we are coming back. We're coming back. In the next weeks or so, you'll get like a new fresh episode. See, hints. Yeah. Do we see a different side of you? Is it a continuation of what we know? Um, It is a continuation and mm-hmm. a different side of me, 100%. Yeah, it's just b- bigger and better. Yeah. Bigger and better. Yeah. You definitely didn't share your relationship, romantic relationship mm. on, on the show. Mm. Is that going back to the topic of privacy? Is that one of the things you keep private and yeah. sacred? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do. Is it a secret? It's not a secret. Nah. Those who know know. It's not a secret. I, I knew you were gonna say yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> those who know know. Yeah. And uh, those who don't don't. And they don't need and to know. They don't need to know. Nah. Yeah, they don't need to know. I mean, mm, why? Why? Uh, are you in a space though where? you're happy with how you conduct relationships because fame does affect our relationships mm-hmm. because I'd assume that you meet different people at different times mm-hmm. of your life. So you might have met your current partner before the mm-hmm. mad fame. Yeah. And have you been able to gradually grow your partner and keep them secure about the mm-hmm. relationship? I have. Um, there are certain things that he doesn't understand as well because this is also very new for him. Mm-hmm. I mean, Which is fair. It, it, it's, it's very understandable. Yeah. So it's how we basically work around it um because i mean if he he just doesn't want certain things or doesn't like certain things we communicate about them and if him and i can't reach in a certain agreement then chai yeah yeah, yeah chai yeah. Mm. Whew, what music are you listening to right now like I, i'm trying to get a, a, a understand a person like you because People would easily think you listen to Lady Gaga. Mm, no. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't even know one Lady Gaga song. Yeah. Like what what what, does, what type of music is Gaga listening piano. to? Piano, ne? Full time. Like even when I'm crying, I listen to. Piano. <laughs> wow. Like that's how it is. Like I listen to piano full time. Yeah. Piano, bone. To like piano bakadi. Ah. Surely yes. that's that's then naturally why you branched off into DJing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and how's that journey? I, I service. It's very scary yeah. because now I get to stand on my own. Yeah. Um. Uh, without my friends and stuff. It's very scary. It's very new as well. I, I've started taking breaks. Continue but taking breaks. breaks. Don't keep going. Um. I am back. I'm back because I believe I had a lot of um growing to do, a lot of learning to do. So and immediately if I get something, um, not correctly done, like it just gets to me understand because i'm at i'm at a level where i i i am very professional with everything that i do so if something just goes wrong one time i, I just want to go back to the drawing book I, I get you yeah i get you so it was like I, I i'm starting this thing i feel like i'm not doing it right so let me take a break it's i'm starting i'm starting yeah ish i think i started too early okay let me go back and fix that yeah fix it go back Ish, but that one man i didn't really do it properly let me go back you understand so it has been a continuation of that but now i think we're very much ready yeah do you think you'd ever get into a polyamorous relationship what's polyamorous yeah. would Ish. you have more than one partner Ish. one partner yes and have the partners <laughs> know about each other nah mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. Th- I don't. I, I I had to think about that quickly, but I don't think so. Can I be jealous of that? No. Yeah, can I be like a Kenyan? Can I be jealous? 
But it would be you with the multiple partners. So you, Same. you're the alpha. Say, like that's my child. Yeah, I'm a total alpha, baby. But yeah, but, I, but I, yes, I wouldn't. I, I don't. You, I don't have time for that. Eh? I, time is something that I don't have. Sabi, this time. Mm. <laughs> Some kids is calling me as well. So I don't think. So. I don't think so. Maybe in my next life. But as for now, no, I don't have time for. Ne? You know. Um, uh, we, we're going to near the end of our conversation, but I want to speak uh, briefly about spirituality. Surely there is a spiritual source that you draw from, um, being the type of person that you are. As I said, um, the, you have a lot of energy, yeah. um, which means you're a happy person. You're delightful to be around. Yeah. What keeps you grounded and spiritually aligned? Um, my mom, my mom is very spiritual, trust and believe, uh, She's actually a healer, funny enough. Um, so she's that one person that grounds me all the time. If you see now, if something bad happens or she feels like something is not all right, she'll be the first person. Like you hear my phone ringing, and if it rings more than three times, then I know there's hundred like there's something wrong. So she's like my spiritual guidance. Okay. She's my. She's taught me a lot spiritually. So uh, and, what I'm getting is you. Mm, you believe in African spirituality. I do. Yeah. I do. I hundred percent do. And also Christianity. I do. Yeah. I go okay. to church. Yeah. I know people. People be like, mm, okay, I do go to church. <laughs> yeah. I do go to church. I pray a lot. I am. Yo, I'm very spiritual. I don't know lie. I'm very spiritual. Yeah. I'm yeah. Spiritual. And 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 you feel warm in God's hands. I do. Yeah. I do. I'm very spiritual. Yeah. yeah. What would Kachiso love to be remembered for? Game changer. Game changer, 100%. Yeah. Game changer. I believe um, I've brought a very different light and a very different energy into the media space, into the entertainment space, and into just, you know, everything that I'm currently doing. Um, I'm a game changer. I changed a lot of things. My friends and I, whether you guys like it or not, we changed a lot of things. We made a lot of people confident. You understand? Um, it's because uh, a lot of people, even like even the older ones, will come to be like, you know, we wish we did this when we were young. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. wish we dressed a certain way, we acted a certain way. But because age hit us, we can't really do some certain things. You, you understand what I mean? Yeah. Um, that's what, cause, but I, I, I was like, it's never too late, man. You can you can just you can just start. You understand? Like it's never too late. I mean, you can just rock your shorter skirt, forty years plus or whatsoever. That's hot. But you also to an old gay in the one yet on Ukopa Lavan Twana. You understand what I mean? Because that's what they forever say. But we've done a lot of so yeah, game changing. Bona Trail Barata Bat Barata Abarati, whether people fight me for this or what, but people I know for sure we've changed the game so badly. Influencer, content creator, uh, student, DJ, DJ who says he is trying, he's mm. failing, but he's honest with himself enough that when he tries and he fails, he picks himself up, he fixes the mistakes, and he comes back more guns blazing. His name is Kachiso Mohola, um, and it's been absolutely great to sit down with him. I've had a beautiful moment. I hope you've enjoyed this conversation and seen a different side of Kachiso that you may not have known. And if you're meeting Kachiso for the first time through this platform, Go to his social media platforms on Instagram, on TikTok, on Twitter. Just search his name. You'll find it. He's, he's that big. Also watch Birth of Stars, which also lives on YouTube. Um, beautiful reality show. It's him and his friends. Um, you'll decide who's the Michelle de Beyonce. That yeah. <laughs> oh and you make <laughs> your own conclusion. Uh, you'll also make your own conclusion about things you've heard, if he's polyamorous or not. Oh my I don't God. know. You may know. I don't know. <laughs> The show is Engineer Your Life. I'm Lungelo KM. I'll see you next time. The show is Engineer Your Life. I'm Lungelo KM. It's 2023. And thank you for watching the episode that you've just watched. Please don't forget that every Tuesday at 3 p.m. we have a new episode for you. So it's Tuesdays at 3 now. We'll have a new episode for you. Also make sure that you join the channel as a member. Because when you join the channel as a member, whether you join and just pay 9 Rand 99 or whatever tier that you choose, it helps us to build the channel and give you the podcast content that you deserve. Also, I want us to affirm a good year this year. So whenever you see this, I just want you to remember that you are affirmed and you are faithful to your dreams. Just affirm that you're a hard worker. 
affirm that you're good at what you do, affirm that you have good mental health, affirm that your, your spiritual life is going well, affirm that your relationships are going well. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to our social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, at Engineer YL Show on all the platforms. I'll see you in the next episode.